Hello and welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to make another Gujarati recipe called Methi Thepla. Methi Thepla is a great travel snack and it can be accompanied by any kind of Indian pickle or curries or it can be consumed on its own with tea or coffee. Methi Thepla can be stored for at least 3 to 4 days at room temperature. So let's go check out the ingredients what I will need to make the Methi Thepla. In this mixing bowl, I have two cups of whole wheat flour. I have one cup of fenugreek leaves, that's called methi. One tablespoon of sesame seeds. One and a quarter teaspoon of salt. A quarter cup of cilantro, that's coriander leaves. Oil. And from my masala box, I'm going to use around half a teaspoon of hing that's called asafoetida, a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder and around one teaspoon of chili powder and water as needed. So now let's go prepare the dough. I have washed the fenugreek leaves and chopped them finely over here and I'm going to add this with the flour here. One tablespoon of sesame seeds one and a quarter teaspoon of salt. You can always use according to your taste. Cilantro, coriander leaves. I'm going to put around three teaspoons of oil here. One teaspoon of chili powder. You can always adjust to your taste too. Around half a teaspoon of Haldi powder, that's turmeric and half a teaspoon of asafoetida, that's hing. I'm going to mix them first so that everything incorporates nicely. I have mixed all the dry ingredients now. So now I'm going to add slowly the water here so and knead into a dough. And also it depends on the fenugreek leaves. If it has a lot of water, you have to be really, really slow while you are pouring the water and mixing it and forming into a dough. So I ended up using at least three quarter cup of water over here and I have made into a very soft dough, like a roti dough or a paratha dough. It is very soft and I'm going to drizzle a little bit of oil on top and smooth it out. The dough is ready now so I'm going to give it a rest for at least 10 minutes and then I'm going to roll it out. I have made a little bit bigger than the lime size ball. So I'm going to dip this in the flour here and I'm going to roll it out as thin as possible. So now it's ready, I have rolled it thin. Now I'm going to cook this on the griddle. The griddle is on high heat here and it's hot now so I'm going to place it over. I'm going to flip it one more time here. When I see some white patches, I'm going to apply a little bit of oil. And let the other side cook completely. I'm cooking the tepla on medium to high heat over here. A little more to cook over here the other side is completely cooked so I'm going to flip it over and apply a little more oil on top I'm going to press a little bit and turn
and on other side I'm going to do the same thing till I see some brown patches so this is now cooked completely so I'm going to take it out and I'm going to uh, do the same thing with other parathas too the methi paratha is ready now here it came out so soft here so I'm going to enjoy my methi paratha with the pickle and a cup of tea here so let's give it a taste test it came out so good it's so yummy please give it a try if you enjoyed watching today's video then please do like share subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any of my uploads see you soon with another great recipe thank you